Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today, gosh, I've had this on my mind for years to do. And so I'm going to wing it. I've never done it before, but we'll see how good of an idea this is. And I feel like that's what we do as crafters, right? We are wrapping a gift and we're going to make it look like it's snowing and I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, this is what we're wrapping right here. Um, I wanted to do a couple of things. I wanted to use my scraps. And of course, I cut off a little bit of the C, so I'm trying to wing it. I, I trimmed my own little piece of the C to go at the edge. Everything cut perfectly except for that, of course. <laughs> and I wanted to try this, look at this beautiful blue. It's a light blue glitter cardstock and look how stiff it is. So I'm trying out new material, but I am so, seriously loving this right now all right so you know my favorite thing i'm not gonna put a tag on it i'm gonna put her name i this is this is an extra tree that has this little um branch cut off because i was using scraps and it was i was gonna use it for my grinch cake topper but i ended up not so i figured why not i'm gonna put it here her name's gonna go here so it's gonna cover that section so I turned on my mini which i love if you don't have one it is not a frivolous purchase <gasps> Did I just lose my little scrap? Uh, okay. Oh no, here it is. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to um, hit this with a little bit of heat right now. So it's on two bars. I'm gonna add this at the end, okay? So that little scrap is gonna go at the end. I'm just gonna try to get this so that my transfer sheet comes off. So I'm just hitting it with enough heat to get my transfer sheet off. And almost. It's almost there. This blue is so pretty. I don't think you can really see because of all the lights in the, in, um, in the room with it being reflecting off of the transfer sheet but if you follow me on Instagram you'll be able to see it because I will definitely be posting this and you can see right now my C is not is not really coming off that easily but everything else is so I'm gonna try to just peel off the transfer sheet and I will hit it with some heat with a Teflon on it and it should be fine so see now the rest is um, the rest is fine so I'm gonna pull this off okay and make sure it's on where it should be. It's so pretty right now, I'm loving it. Okay, I'm going to put this little piece that I cut off. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's okay. It's a present for my daughter and I'm using scraps and that's what happens. So I'm gonna put it on like, and it's gonna be wonky too because I'm gonna have to pick this up and put my Teflon sheet down so we'll see how well that works. So I'm going to put down the Teflon sheet really gently. I did move a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to use my fingers to try to move the, the HTV a little bit. Okay, I think I'm good there. I'm going to put it back down. And this is just a tag. Uh, so it's on ca glitter cardstock. Um, you don't need a lot of heat, right? You just need enough for it to stick on. And there you have it. So my little, it's a little wonky right down here, but no one's gonna notice it. It is really, really pretty. Okay, so let's take down our Christmas tree. And this is gonna go right here. So it covers that. We're gonna have a lot of snow all around. So I think that's gonna look really, really good. Um, we're gonna wrap this first because it's gonna go on the craft paper. So I bought everything at the Dollar Tree store. They didn't have craft paper, but the back side of this is gonna be craft paper. So I didn't wanna spend a lot of money on this experiment. Um, I thought if I did craft paper that the snow, that this snow, faux snow, will show better off of the craft paper than it would the white paper. So that's why, Oh, yeah, I think that's okay. You can see a little bit of the print, but that's all right. All right, so let's get this down. Okay, that's actually enough. So I'm gonna get my... Ah, that was horrible. Okay. 
So I'm going to flip this over because we want the brown paper to be on the outside. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. And when you're folding, I definitely like the creases in, um, at all the edges. So once you put that down, get your crease going, fold this side over, ooh, just barely. <laughs> this is obviously our back side. So I'm gonna flip it up. I always just, I fold one side at a time, so <laughs> I'm going to fold this, get my edges nice and crisp. That's going to be one side. Let's get this side down. I'm get a little bit here since I ripped it. Okay, so this is our front side. Looking nice and beautiful. All right, so let's tape down our Christmas tree like that. So I'm hiding all my flaws, right? <laughs> so let's tape this down. And I'm almost tempted I guess it doesn't matter. I'll put a lot of fake snow. But I almost feel like maybe I should have put, covered the whole backside with tape. That way the fake snow won't be underneath the tree. But that's okay. I think we're... Okay, then let's put this on there. And this one, maybe I'll do that. I'm going to take this with... Let's see, where's all my scrap paper? I'm gonna use this envelope. <laughs> Don't mind me. All right. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but in between the letters, though, there's like glue tape webbing. So you just wanna take this tool and kind of hit it with that because you're going to be able to see it against the craft paper. So all right and put it down over here. Okay so now we're going to wrap it in this clear paper and we're going to leave an opening at the top to pour. Oops I'm sorry. We're gonna leave an opening at the top up here so that we can pour in the fake snow, okay? So um, I'm gonna wrap it maybe this way. Okay, um, hold on, let me turn this off and unplug it so that I don't accidentally burn my hand. <laughs> okay. All right, so <laughs> let's turn this, uh, let, let me see, let me think about this. How should we do this? Actually, if we do it from the side, that might be easier. Okay, 
So I'm going to flip this over and put it on it and wrap it from the back side. And maybe I can start pouring some snow. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Oh, this is so dangerous. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit here. And honestly, I don't even know how much to use. I'm sort of just, this is the back side. So I'm kind of winging it. Let's see how that looks. And you kind of want to flatten it because you, we want to wrap it. So now I'm wondering too if we should have put some on the back side to keep it there. But okay, I'm talking out loud to you, and I know you can't hear me or respond. Actually, <laughs> you can hear me, you just can't respond. All right, so we're putting this down. And we don't have a lot of wiggle room once we put this in, right? So let's tape that down. It looks really pretty right now. Okay, so we've got that side down. Let's tape this. Okay, so I'm gonna tape this side to close it up. going to go down. So, hmm. All right. Well, now that it's up, let's pour in all of our fake snow everywhere. And everything's a dollar, so don't scrimp. <laughs> let's see how much is on the front side. We'll pour a little bit more on our front side. Okay, so now let's tape it down and see what we have. And then we can we can kind of shake around the snow, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay. Oh, you can't even see the name. Hold on, let me move it down. There's a lot of snow right there. pour a little bit of snow. I should have looked to see where they were landing first. But I mean, there's room to still shift it around. So let me see if I can, there. Okay, so now at least I got snow on the whole bottom. There. <laughs> let me know if you end up trying this, but I like the idea. I think it just needs a little bit more um, finesse in where you pour it. And I'm almost wondering too, if I should have I can, well, I don't want to open it up now to fix it, but maybe on my next one is maybe run a little bit of glue at the bottom so that you always have a fixed amount in certain places, kind of like we do with our um, cake topper shaker. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to post pictures, but that's pretty much how I would do it. I think, yeah, I think I would, um, there, that's, that's looking a little bit more 
it's, it's getting there. So I definitely think though that you need to put some stuff, some cardstock of some kind of theme, the name, whatever. So, all right, I'm gonna work on this and I will take pictures and let you know. All right, thanks for joining, bye.